Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for rejoining me here, of course, in Southern Victory, playing as that beautiful CSA. So, last time we were hanging out, improving our abilities, rapidly industrializing the South, and yeah, having a good time overall. That's uh, a couple comments though. Actually, there's quite a few comments that we need to address. Um, I want to go ahead and build another civilian factory over here first though. I lied, over here first. Just because I want more civilian factories so we can trade them away. Cool, a couple comments. Oh, also, we do have to keep an eye on this. Um, we have to make sure we suppress anti-confederate feelings in Sequoia just because, uh, we could lose it. Or we could just end up not getting it. If we can get all three states, that'd be muy bueno. We don't have to worry about Houston. We probably don't have to worry about Kentucky. But Sequoia, that's definitely something we have to worry about. Regardless, a couple comments. For example, someone recommended that I rush the automatic rifle. Um, Tredegare automatic rifle. That's pretty far ahead in time. Maybe I can. That is literally two years away, and we've just got into 1940, so we'll see about that. <clears throat> we'll see. Even though we do get some bonuses from our, uh, yeah, this bonus from Mass Formation, so we might be able to do that. So, cool. Next one is build more barrels. I think, maybe that was a comment. Maybe I left that comment for myself. Uh, build more barrels. Oh, and also someone recommended I build some radar. Actually, that is extremely useful. You know what? I will build that right now first. Just because we can use that in the ocean, we can use that on land, barrels, and really just radar can be incredibly important to our success. Uh, do we get, do we do it? Do we do it? I don't know. Uh, do that immediately though. Uh, yes, yes, we have it. We are two more, two more points than the U.S. does. Hopefully, if they do their little dingy mabob over there, they waste their political power. But we've so far in the lead. I'm loving this. This isn't, you know, McDonald's. I think that's what. They say we're loving this. But that is awesome. Good, 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 good. We got some mass formations, which is awesome. Uh, next up, let's see. Huh, liberals in power, not in this campaign. Uh, let's see. The Navy. I could really focus on the Navy. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, I did tab over to see the US and see how far they've done their naval tech. Uh they've done nothing about their naval doctrine, which makes me feel pretty good. But you never know. They do have a couple carriers in like nine battleships, twelve battleships, something like that, but We'll see what happens. But let's have technological supremacy. One of the few areas we've had the Yanks beaten is in the quality of our equipment. And if we are able to, if we are, are to win any future conflict, we need to do our best to maintain that advantage, yes. Because in the book series, I mean, near the end of World War II, the CSA does, I believe, get the opportunity or the ability to make Philadelphia go kaboom. But unfortunately, unfortunately in the book series, it didn't do too much. Let's put it like that. Um, uh, oh, we don't have enough uh, enemy support here, or rebel support, so we don't have to do anything about that. Unfortunately, I still can't raise conscription levels, which I think is some... Uh, it's not very bueno, I'll put it like that. Oh, 12, 14, cool, we still have an advantage. That's still good, that's still very good. Uh, 48 days, a couple of the comments. Uh, play Kaiserreich or Fearreich sometime, um, just because a lot of people at the time of this recording aren't playing it. Or maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't know. I have not played Fear Reich or Kaiserreich in a while, so maybe. We'll see what happens. I really don't know. Play Equestrian War as well. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Actually, I've been thinking about playing that one. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. At the time of this recording, July is a very busy month. But eventually, I'll get back to it. And I'm literally just waiting for more Sequoia stuff here. Uh, what else? So, like I said in the last video, there are four peace deals for the USA. And when we, if we win, which we will win, no matter what, and I... If I have to restart this, uh, restart and not show you exactly what I have to do, like reset, like from the previous save date, then so be it. Um, so I'm going to make sure that we win somehow, even if I have to like have like desperate defenses on the entire line. So be it. Whatever. Maybe make maybe make the soldiers 40 combat width, but that doesn't really matter if we have no manpower. Regardless, whatever. Superior fighting force. The average foot soldier of the Confederacy has always been better trained, equipped, and had more fighting spirit than their Yankee counterparts. We should emphasize that in our doctrine. Yes. Yes, we should. Very much so. There we go. Oh, with, for 30 days. At this point, it's too late for us to do anything, so there's really no point to even do that. Uh, how long would this take? 15 days. So if we get another vote, we can get it in there. This is extremely close. But there's no point to waste political power, because we could save our political power to maybe raise conscription level, maybe later on. So, a great heat wave has hit the southern states earlier today. Specialists confirm that it will take, or will continue, for a few more days, causing droughts, and that our small lakes throughout our, our all-affected states 
will of course dry up. I can't speak. I apologize. Small lakes throughout the entire country that are affected will dry up. Better stay at home. Yes, better stay at home. That sounds like a good thing. Even if they get one more point, we're still ahead, which is nice. Just come on, end it, end it, end it, end it, end it. We need Oklahoma. We need all of Sequoia. We need all of them states. And there's the Texas. I can't believe they took Texas. I mean, that's so mean. That's so terrible. Look how bad the Yanks are. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. 1.9 a day. Still very, very nice. Let's go and grab this next one, maybe. Uh, that was another thing. Build carrier planes. Yes, I have to build carrier planes. And we're building more medium tanks because that's going to be the bread and butter of our army probably for the most part. We need planes to make sure that our tanks are actually effective. Go ahead and lower you down to two for now. Uh, that's not really much. Uh, hmm. Don't do that. And then 100%. Really fast in infrastructure, which is really nice. Other things. So, in the book series, apparently the CSA tried uh, to go through Kentucky and to cut through Ohio to divide the United States into two. So we might try that in this campaign. We might. So, look at that. 12, 14. Come on, give me that vote. Give me that bloodless sight. Come on, we could use that extra manpower. Good. Good. So, we'll see what happens. I, I might try that as long as we can break over this river. I'm not sure if this is the Ohio River or not. But as long as we can break through over to Ohio to Detroit and cut these guys in half, going all the way up through Canada, that'd be awesome since I can probably fairly easily raid their convoys. And that's always a good thing. Oh, finally, we got some light cruisers. The Bloodless sites are held. So, they're being held in the former CSA states, holding on to whether they should remain in the Union or rejoin the Confederacy. And the results are in. Very soon. Also, we have no development for more barrel projects, which kind of sucks. We have a superior fatten force. Introduce a national assault force. More than 30 per Oh, I should have read more clearly. 30% surrender progress. Oh, what? What? I need that 50k right now. Um, recruit Freedom Party guards. We get double bonus research for something here. Well, we we'll, might as well do that, and then we'll try to beeline down the Air Force. So, the Freedom Party guards have proven their loyalty to the Confederacy. And given most are veterans of one war or another, their mobilization would be quite quick. Yes. Victor in Sequoia. We've won the vote in Sequoia. We'll return to the CSA as well as in West Texas. Uh, also known to the Yankees as West Houston. As well as Kentucky. We should build a museum over there. Maybe a museum dedicated to the Bible. Which I've totally, totally not been before to in Kentucky. Oh, Western Kentucky becomes demilitarized, or just Kentucky? Oh, yeah, that looks really bad, actually, kind of. Well, actually, it's okay. But you know what makes it look a little nicer? Razor thin. Really razor thin. Oh, that look. Now, without Texas here, this does not look very good. But you know what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. Now, this. This is bueno. This is mate bueno. Nathan, you got anything for us? We did it. We got all three. Ooh, on the first try for me, too. 33,000 manpower. Not bad. It's about to go bye-bye, though, probably. No? No? We can actually make 13 more divisions? Say it so. Say it so. 400 po some political power? Oh, the U.S., I'm sure, did not like that. Oh, no, no, no. But that's okay with us. Oh, Knight has not been purged. Oh. War support, we'll probably get that one. Uh, I definitely want to save up some political power, but we don't need to keep all this. Commando special forces? I'm like... Mm. We must grab that guy for a cent. Mechanized offensive. Good, good, good. Yes. Recover. Wow, that's actually a pretty good recovery rate. Plus 0. 0.2. Nice. And just a flat 10 organization. I did not realize that. Actually, we, we went down this way. We might just not go down Modern Blitzkrieg, which is actually pretty good for that extra organization for infantry. But for 2% more population, I have never gone down Desperate Defense. I'm. We might just do that. You know what? Let's go down that path. I've never done that path before. Never, ever, ever. Before we get too far. Get some more planes in the air. Anything else? Oh, I've got some naval bombers, too. Yes, I love naval bombers. Okay, one, two. Let them go on. Uh, right there. Good. Very nice. Is anyone really still training or not? Um, it's still the Miller tries, so that's okay. Hmm. Uh, do we need to expand anything here? No. Oh, yeah, we need more steel. Let's grab that. Good. Proof infantry equipment two. Oh, you know what? I really don't like doing this, rushing stuff ahead of time. But you guys recommended it. Let's do it anyways. We got a bonus to our stuff anyways. So, that's cool. Remilitarizing the newly acquired states. We promised the Yanks that we would not hold up 
hold up our men in the territory we required in the plebiscites. But if there was a large amount of civil unrest in these states, we would have to no choice but to reestablish a <clears throat> military presence. <clears throat> a few, few false flags and whatnot, you know. And I can convince the enemy to declare war on us this way. Well, shucks, that'd be quite a problem for them. All right, we got the guys right here. Oh yes, please. I want to make sure that this death stack is going to be good enough. We have 18 screens for eight ships. Oh man, that's not good. Oh, that does not feel good. Mm, I really want to push through here, but we'll see what happens. Fighting over the river. I might consider fighting through here first. There's no river over here. We might take out this little boot of Missouri first. The Missouri spike. Go up this way. Shorten the line just a little bit over here first, and then push through Ohio. Ohio. This is Illinois. Through Illinois. Maybe to Indiana to Ohio. I think that's probably the way I'm going to take it. Uh, close air support, too. Oh, yeah. We need that. All right. We got to make sure we get those couple of these planes in the air, too. Good. Go with three for now. Where are the military factories? We need more. Yes, we can build. Yes. 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 I'm going to build it down here just so that these guys will never get attacked. Ah, uh, it's only... They're almost done. Free, recruit Freedom Pot of Gods. Great. And we're almost done with this side. Cool. We can't do anything here because it has to be after May 14th, 1941. So, like I said earlier, how about we do some Air Force? Air power was instrumental in the Great War, and advancements in aviation show that it will be in future conflicts. We need to expand the Confederate Air Force, as CAF, and study the application of how these new technologies for military application can be used appropriately. Ah, another tank. Which I am slowly trying to convert these guys to medium tanks. We currently have actually quite a few medium tanks. Nice. I'm going to save this for garrisons. Um, do that. How many are we out now? Not bad. That's the one. Another one. Two hundred. We can afford one more. Cool. Now let's lower the light tanks down to one because we don't really need that many more. And we're only using them for like recon for a little bit of recon, not very much for recon. So yeah, naval bombers are going to be highly important in this campaign too. I think we're going to start focusing on the 1940s battleship. Because as much as I love making carriers, battleships are still a little necessary, in my opinion, here. Good, 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 good. So we're making seven a day. That's really nice. But we got to make more fighters, though. Yeah. That's not enough. Uh, let's grab so, just a tiny bit more. So we have so much fuel. I love it. Nice. Good, 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 good. We're getting that done. Make some better radar. And also, that was another comment. Do some more nuclear research because... It takes time. Um, if I can. Uh, I guess at the current timing, I cannot do atomic research. Okay, well, I guess we'll go with regular research speed. I still like that. That's still some good stuff. Ah, a new Air Force. Good. Let's go ahead and grab the next one. Oh, which one are we doing? I can never remember in our campaigns which one we're doing. Battlefield support. Operational integrity, battlefield support. So the Air Force was made to support army operations, and that should be the focus of its mission. Good. Okay, let's go arrest a couple people. And let's do that one too. We could use that. Hmm. So the US has decided not to do anything, even though we remilitarized the area. Yeah, two divisions per tile. Oh, sometimes one? Jesus, that's not good. That is really not good. Holy cow. Yeah, that makes me quite uncomfortable. But we have it across the entire line. We actually might be able to reduce our, like, short the line. Not even defend Baja, California. This looks really pointed. I don't like how jagged it is. Yeah, I'm going to put you guys over here. Maybe we could strike early with a uh, real heavy push through this little portion. Cut that off. Come over here. Maybe get to St. Louis first. Wrap around. Go break across the river as fast as possible. Oh, no, 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 no. We're out of manpower already. No. We need more more men from Kentucky. More men from Oklahoma. After just more men, period. The 59th Infantry. And these, got any, these ain't even 20 combat with divisions. Jesus. Tactical bombers. I'm trying to rush down to get even more factories here, so... Fighter development sounds pretty nice. Advances in aviation have led to the advent of the fighter plane. They fought admirably in the last war, but there are many improvements that we could still make. Go ahead, go ahead, go where you need to be. Aluminum production, that can wait. Let's go and grab that too. Good, we're, so, we're making a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and probably put some 
radar on the opposite side of the country. Oh, this could be nice. This is really helpful. Yeah, uh, radar probably put it like in this part of Oklahoma, so that the Midwest or the West Midwest can still still do pretty well. Anyone have upgrades? Uh, they have upgrades I don't really care about too much. Cool. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, I could lower it by one more, maybe. Oh, well, that division is going now. Just, just one more. Two more. Like, I don't want to lower than more than ten. Not enough manpower. <laughs> Sixty out of ninety-six hundred. Can you? Can we make more babies, please? Come on, please, please, more babies. I know there's one thing that I could, I could do that could save a little bit more man, on manpower right now. But let's do close air support supremacy. Supporting the men on the ground is paramount, and that is. Changing this to be 20 combat width using artillery. So, that would make sure we have a massive deficit of artillery, which I cannot afford just yet. That being said, we're going to lower our production on guns right now, which I really don't like to do. We have 65,000 guns, though, so that's actually totally fine. Go and do that. Lower it by five more. Focus on this. Focus on... This is coming along really nicely, actually, as well. I... Naval bombers... I love naval bombers, but we can hold off on that for now. The main one we need to focus on are fighters and a crud ton of artillery. Let's buy some more uh, rubber, too. Thank y'all. Good, good, good. Once we get another factory done here, we're going to start making even more radar and refineries. Because we need more rubber. Mo mo rubber. Uh, let's see. Three. Oh, 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 oh. Commie supporters? I think not. Not in this country. Barrel division. Go ahead and switch out to the next one. Very good. Uh, go ahead and switch them out. Nice. There you go. Not bad. Excuse me. And make sure you're high. Ooh, we might make these 40 combat with. That actually might be the best thing we could do. Just, oh, they might be able to They probably won't. I really don't know if they have anti-tank or not. I'm going to assume the U.S. does have some sort of anti-tank. But you never know. Good, that's really good. Uh, come back over here. Oh, we could grab this. I want to grab this, though. And begin doing some... Battleship, battleship stuff. Words. Difficult. Close air supremacy. Very good stuff. Tactical bomber development. The use of bombers were key in the disruption of industry in the last war and the destruction of enemy units. The advances in aviation can be easily applied to these aircraft. Man, we don't even have enough manpower so I can put more planes in the air. That really sucks. Kampf Grupa. But you know what? Hmm. Oh, I, I don't. I really don't want to do that. But this isn't like the Great War Redux mod, where just going up, just even a little higher for conscription level, hurts you. That doesn't give you that much. Two per, two and a half percent to five percent isn't bad. Oh man. Should I do it or should I not? If this was a Great War Redux, I would probably go desperate defense. But that flat 10 organization is so good. But you could probably make that up with enough air power if you have planes. If we have a big enough industry, which we should actually have a bigger industry. You know what? I said it. Let's go Volksturm, which is totally Confederate in nature. Well, I guess maybe technically. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like doing that. I really don't like getting that extra 10 organization for divisions. Let's see. You guys generally have. I mean, we already have 80, almost 80, so that's, that's, actually, that's actually still pretty good. That's still pretty good. But, mm, it's a necessary evil. There, there's so many necessary evils we've got to get through to make sure we do okay. And, oh, oh well, maybe we wasted some political power there. That's okay. Go do that too. Uh, go ahead and get Propaganda Master Saul Goldman. 100%, very nice. Let's go ahead and throw some more radar over here, perhaps, just so that we have it in enough places, because once we get level 4, that should boost us up even higher. Uh, yes, the 4th Armored Breakthrough. Good stuff, good stuff. Yes, Tactical Bomber Development. Improve. Oh, look at that. Ace Generation Chance. Air Experience Gain plus 10%. Less Air Accidents Chance. That's really good. The fight in the air is just one aspect of aerial warfare. The boys on the ground who keep the planes in working order are just as valuable and deserve the best training to do that most vital job. Oh, man. Oh, that's not bad. How was Europe looking? And actually, there was also other comments for me to play uh, as the U.S. after this campaign, which actually sounds really interesting. I might do that. 
Because I don't know anything about the U.S. side at the time of this recording. The worst is over. No, 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 no. We want the worst for you to stay there. Get even worse. Please. A recovered army? No, 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 no. Please. You don't need that. This is nice. This is really nice. Yes. Very good. Yeah, this is... I don't know anything about these Alf... Al Smith, a moderate socialist? Hmm, I don't know if that that could actually exist for real. Moderate socialism? Hmm, I don't know. Not for long, though. Not for long. Go and grab this. So we make sure that we're when we go to war, we are just ready to blitz. We got a blitz, 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 blitz. Miles is coming along. I mean, we got a lot of factories. Not gonna lie. Uh, boost this up by one more. I really don't care if the carriers aren't being made too much right now. We just gotta make sure that everyone's getting their fill of repairs, and we got... Eh, she's mostly just subs that get injured a lot, which is actually fine. Oh, we'll go and eat some more of this, too. Oh, look at that steel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs, that is nice. If that's the case, just make sure we max out on rubber. Because that's so important. Awesome. Even better Air Force now. Let's go ahead, ground coordination. I think we introduced new Air Force. So, our new our Air Force was thoroughly scrapped at the end of the last war, but we have every reason to believe they will still play a vital role in the future. A reorganization of the Air Force is vital, and we will invest significant funds in doing just that. Absolutely. I don't mind a little bit more infrastructure. We can keep one going on for now in Norton. That's fine for now, but... I Like I said before, I'm worried about the front line here. Because the U.S., what they lack up and occasional smarts, which they can be pretty smart. They got a lot of bodies. Look at that. That's at least a few million more than us, which is just, oh, so not bueno. I want that one, but we can't do it. Make sure we got enough. 39 days. That's that's really good for artillery. That's so good. Hey, you know what? Thank you guys for, well, first of all, happy 1941, my friends. It is a brand new year. Thank you for recommending that I research or rush automatic guns, because that looks like it's going to come in handy quite soon. Quite, quite soon. Got to get, got to save enough political power up to get to war economy as well as increase or go to extensive conscription. So, and you know what? If we do end up with enough manpower, I don't mind like getting rid of bulk sturm and going down the other path. So, I'm totally not opposed to that. We got plenty of guns. Artillery is looking amazing. We are somewhat ready to go to war already. So, I don't want to do this, but I think to make sure that we have a better chance of winning, I'm going to do this. You know what? I just thought of. Maybe I should throw in some uh, different types of tank templates in here. Because I never... I just do your your generic, basic tank template. Maybe I should try something else some other time. Mass fighter deployment? Good. The ability to disrupt enemy aircraft has and will always be vital in other conflicts. The more fighters we can field at once, the better. Free military factories. Uh, we got radar going. Go ahead and get some more refineries. Uh, put them down in Chihuahuas. Okay. Ah, Southern Virginia. Even though it's only one, that's still one more rubber that we can have. So, region wide, keep doing that. That's not bad. That's fine. That's fine. Sequoia Pan. Actually, yeah, increase that one. Yes, we got the better guns. Thank you for recommending that, my friends. Thank you. Get better industry production, and then we're gonna grab uh, faster construction speed. That's really good. Oh my gosh, we need even more steel now. Uh, that ain't bueno. But we can afford it. That's fine. Go and do that. We need what we need. Three. Good. Ah, better artillery. Great. Construction speed. Build, 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 build. We want to keep an eye on that one, too. Right there. Anything else here that gives us, like, any sort of, like, national spirit? Doesn't look like it. Argentine Republic to war in the Republic of Chile. Out of all countries to do something, those guys are going at each other. And we don't want to forget, we do have an option to do stuff down here. Seize war materials. We have to be at war for that. Which is okay. Extend private contracts. That looks pretty good. New war taxes hurts us a little bit, but helps us. Enforce loans look okay. Total war. More than 10% surrender progress. Looks, looks kind of hurts us, but gives us quite a bit more population, which looks kind of nice. Hunt and destroy. Go ahead and grab the next one. We gotta make sure the Air Force is just tip-top shape, even though we don't have a ton of planes. We definitely need more of this. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 3,400. Do we have enough to actually change this out yet? Please tell me we do. Oh, it's so close. But you know what? That saves a little bit, just a tiny bit more manpower, which is good. Good. Mass fighter deployment. Is there anything in the 
naval tree that could give us some national spirit here. Uh, no, no, no. There's a lot of blueprint models. Naval dockyards. Carrier. Naval. 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 It really doesn't look like it. So we could go down that path more, but we can just kind of wait to a degree. Uh, air doctrine. Let's at least get down to this one. So, new cast projects. Close air support is very important to the modern battlefield. And our aviation industry having advanced as much can improve the quality of the planes. Yes. Good. Sometimes I'm thinking about two things at once, so the words don't come out quite right. 6% socialism? Mm -mm. Not in the CSA. No, 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 no. Oh, man, that is not looking good. Cool. You know what? I'm actually going to do this as well. Uh, raise this up by 5. Lower this by 5. Get another thing in tungsten. We need it. We need to ramp up production of artillery. Words are hard, but we're making 17 pieces a day. That ain't too bad. We should have enough guns for the entire war with this surplus. That's actually really good. Tank-wise, that does not look very good, but you know it is what it is. Oh, and before I forget, before anyone yells and screams at me anymore, I gotta remember planes. 40, 40, very good. I'm actually gonna go, go ahead and put you guys over here. How about that one? Yeah, that's not terrible. It's not great. And before I forget... Mm, you know, get up to 60 for that group. That looks... That would be nice, but I don't have any manpower. Hmm, I don't have any manpower. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, why did I wait to do this one? That's really good for battleships. Come on, just a week. We have a week left before we can get a little bit more manpower. Please, please, please. We need the people's militia. Volkstum, non-discriminatory conscription. Since we're already doing it, we might as well. Oh, look at that. I knew with our industrial base now, 215 factories is nothing to scoff at. We could get rid of this deficit of, of artillery pretty quickly. Let's go and do improved training program. The competency of our pilots have, has wavered since the Great War. The Treaty of Trent has destroyed our Air Force. But we recently reorganized it. And although we have great planes, they aren't worth a damn if the men flying them don't know how. We will do all we can to rectify this problem by increasing flight hours, live fire exercises, and in-class lectures. Ah, I don't know about in-class lectures. Can we just like send them to Asia and like like watch people die over here? Oh wait, we oh I forgot we saw guys over here. I'm glad I said Asia. Oh, but I don't think I want to get involved. Look at the, hmm, that's kind of a lot of attrition around here. Oh, I don't like this. Um, you know, not a lot of attrition over there. These guys attack. Yeah, it looks like they are attacking. I really don't want to get involved. I just don't want to lose supplies. I totally forgot about this too. No wonder we're getting way more air XP. Oh, we can't even reach these guys though, that sucks. Unless there's another air base, which we don't have. Actually, hold on. Uh, pay King. Can I request... Awesome. Go ahead, come down here. There we go. This is how we're going to do our air doctrine stuff. God dang, manpower. If that's the case, come over here. I could train these guys, but I'm, I'm a little lazy. Not going to lie. Spurs Industry 4. Good, good, good. We're going to get some more... Uh, what do they call it? Resource efficiency gain. That's right. Aluminum production... Good. Look at that number going up. Slightly, ever so slightly. Oh, look at this. This is really nice, actually. I don't want to waste my men's lives, so... I'm just here mostly for defense. Okay, never mind. I lied. You guys should be able to get this pretty easily. Oh, yeah. Look at that, Mr. Krabs. We have manpower. Volkstrom has come through. Now, we don't have quite enough planes on here yet, but this is mo bueno. Cool. Grab you. Yeah, we definitely need more planes here. Holy cow. That's alright, though. We'll do what we can. 40 more. Good. Good. And one more group. 
right there. So we won't have enough planes for this, but that's okay. Because we'll just raise you up to 30. Oh, hold on. You need to go up to 20. There you go. And then... There you go. Balance you guys out a little bit more. Oh! Well, Chile's gone. Okay. Cool. Do we have anything else here? Is everyone 40? 34 out of 40, 40, 40, 40. Okay, cool. We only have one out of 60, which is fine. Not bad. Not bad at all. Tanks are coming along very nicely. Actually, how many factories does America have? I need to focus more on our factories, too. Um, that's a lot. That's not a lot. That's a little bit. So, not too bad. Not too bad for them. Keep building us up a little bit more. Give me two lines of that. Give me two lines of this. That'll be good. Even more civilian factories so we can trade more stuff away if we need to. Took me the entire episode to realize that we still have soldiers over here. Ah, improved training program, good. Operation Blackbeard. The time for revenge against the Northern Snakes has finally come. We will avenge the humiliations of the Great War once and for all. I guess it's time. We have the manpower, finally. Some manpower. We'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. Oh man, we got even more planes. Oh my lord, yes. We have some naval bombers, too. Now, I don't want to be the one to really declare war on them Yankees, but... It's got to come to this at some point. Probably. There we go. Cool. Good, good. You guys do that, too. Uh, we got to click on this. Come back over here. You guys put y'all in half. One, two... Come here. One, two, three. And y'all can come right there. Cool. Oh, man. Combat unit destruction. Very, oh, wow, 125%. God dang. Air superior is going to be the most important. But I'm going to end today's episode right there, right before we go to war, because I want to kind of save the war for the next episode. That's mostly because of that. But you know what? Let's get to day 34 before we get right there. Do that, and then do that. That'd be nice. Unless the U.S., because I don't, I don't want to wait too much longer to go to war with these guys. Because the longer we wait, the stronger they become. Especially with all that member. Look at that. We might have more factories than they do. Beautiful thing. Good, 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 good. Come on, we're almost there. Oh my God, we have more divisions. Look at that. Look at that. We have more divisions. Beautiful. Peace conference. China. Republic of China. And our soldiers are coming back. Oh boy, the death of Kaisal the Wilhelm II, his nation moans. Oh boy. Oh yeah, the French still have their own little flag. Am I in the Entente? Yes, I am. That's a nice red Entente. Then America's alone. America is still alone in the coronation of Kaiser Wilhelm III. That's a big quadruple alliance. Oh. Okay then. Cool, so I guess I'm going to end the episode right there. So if you enjoyed today's episode, my friends, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will, I guarantee you, we're going to be in some sort of global conflict. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.